What is going on everyone? Hope your day is going phenomenal. We have a phenomenal Bronco behind us. So hand in hand, let's watch and see the transformation of our latest Apex. Let's go. So the initial part of this video is just to showcase this setup on the Apex Edition with the gold wheel. We're about to go right now and change the fuel block wheel from the gold to the anthracite gray to match the more aesthetically pleasing parts of the vehicle that are already gray. So wanted to just showcase first and foremost, what do you think about how this looks on 37s, on mud grapplers, but primarily in this first segment with the gold fuel block wheel? Do you think it still works with the gold wheel, even though you've got the hard top that has the gray accent with it and then the black and gray accents on the grill and other components? Personally, I think it's gonna look better with the gray matching fuel block wheel rather than the gold. But if you did paint the grill body color and the roof body color, it would flow better, meaning the gold. So let's now check out how it looks before we review this bad boy of the final fitting gray fuel block wheel. The Badlands the Area 51, a very underrated color in my opinion. And the Badlands does have a nice suspension system, y'all. It does have the uh, haul system with the Bilstein shocks. It is a good system, but we like to take that off uh, to have to use on more base Broncos. And we wanted to run 37s on this one, so uh, we did the three inch coilover kit from four wheel parts with your upper control arms, rear track bar, big tire uh, delete kit, just a, a full system throughout. Here's a good side stance. So those of you that may wanna beat us up on taking a good suspension system off, we know that y'all, <laughs> we do know that, but we want to uh, run 37s on this one. So this was the kit that we needed to uh, clear that and out back, we've got a great spare tire rolling with it uh, and the spare tire ring that illuminates when you push the brake because the factory uh, third brake light there does not show when you go with a 37. It does show with a 35, a nice LED detail. And then on the inside, y'all, love it. Love the accents the Bad Lads brings and you got the nice big 12 inch touchscreen. Look at this. How money is that? Great. Now this does have the small engine in it. And I know y'all have some uh, questions about the engine choice and the overall performance of the 37s. I'm very happy with how well the 37s uh, rotate down the road with the engine choice here. So it's getting dusky dark here at the dealership. And just want to show you from the cockpit perspective of how the interior looks in the Badlands. Love the 12 inch touchscreen. The illumination goes more blue at nighttime when the uh, headlights or uh, sensors are registering that that's on. And I like the analog speedo, but you also have it digitally right there. And on your steering wheel, you have a uh, you know, nice feel buttons. You got your volume there, nothing on the back side. But then these buttons here and the center one controls all of your infotainment and information on your center stack. So just for an example, you go there, hit okay, go to off-road, off-road status, and then you can toggle up and down between uh, your pitch and roll, power distribution, which is great, uh, tire pressure, uh, your gauges as far as your temperatures, uh, your boost on your turbo, oil temperature. So just bookers of information in this screen as well as a sync four system, which is very responsive. I love the way it works. Uh, it's much more responsive than previous systems. And then you've got nice uh, disconnects there. Um, up top, auxiliary switches to accommodate our rigid light kit. So there's fog light one, spotlight, floodlight. And it's just dusky, but they're not shining so bright yet. But boom, boom, boom. Gotta love that. Get the vehicle running. Wanted to showcase these awesome lights. This is essentially the Raptor fog light kit. You got a street legal light and then floodlight spotlight on both corners. It is truly super bright. Love the way it illuminates the road. Just gives you more overall visibility and the signature daytime running light. So iconic from the Bronco. So essentially y'all, this is a pretty basic build. We did not do uh, any paint work on this one, but a three inch cold over lift kit that comes with a rear track bar, upper control arms and more, speedometer calibrator, 
37, 13 and a half, 17 mud grapplers. Yes, the mud grapplers went with the muds on it and because that's one of the most gnarly tires uh, out there as far as overall looks and performance, it's a great tire. It will give you some pretty decent mileage too if you keep it rotated. Um, and then the fuel block wheel, uh, rigid fire kit lights, a complete apex build, but a basic one if that makes sense to you. It's not overdone with paintwork. As I mentioned earlier, some paintwork would allow you to do a different wheel choice, but a black wheel or this gray wheel to me is kind of almost a must given we didn't do any of the paintwork y'all. So another one right here at Aikens. This is another cool angle I like to showcase how well the Bronco looks. It has that International Scout old vibe to it as well as the retro bronco but it was seeing how nice the inside is and how buttoned up the suspension and just fit and finish of the bronco they did a great job with it good look at our rear track bar system and our rear coil over as well there you go and then how aggressive the mud grapplers are it has those raptor like claws there appreciate all the love and support and checking us out right here at why is it akins and sticking tuned to my channel because i truly love what i do and we've got things rolling on the daily and continue to try to expel uh my passion through the vehicles that we build and the great dealership that we have here behind us as well as our accessory store and all the great people that work here a part of akins and why willies is something special going on here y'all and you got to come experience with us come by bronco thanks so much peace